Coco, yeah, you guys can clap, you guys can clap. All these people holding cameras back there, not clapping. Uh, we're very excited today. Thank you guys for joining us. We are with uh, uh, Dimes, the number one draft pick in the NBA 2K League, which starts May 1st, Twitch TV, uh, twitch.tv slash NBA 2K League. And we're going to play NBA 2K18, which is amazing because I am terrible at this game, <laughs> as I am at all games, but very terrible at this game. Uh, so welcome, Dimes. Uh, Dimes, say hello to the chat. Hey, what's going on, y'all? That's right. Know. That's it's right. Everybody, nice. Everybody's yeah. loving you. Everybody's loving you. Uh, so this is amazing. You are you're the number one draft pick, the NBA. NBA and 2K combined forces, mm -hmm. like some kind of crazy Voltron-esque beast, to make a league, an esports league, mm -hmm. to play NBA 2K. And you are the number one guy! Yes, sir. It's insane! Yes, sir. Yeah, it's crazy. How's the pressure? No pressure. No pressure? No pressure. What? It's crazy! Yes. Uh, you have, we were, we were talking for, uh, a little bit ago, you have the dream job for 99% of the people watching. The other one percent are Call of Duty players, and they're trying to. Uh, but that's that's to say, how did it all start for you? How did you first kind of start playing NBA 2K? How did it all start? Yeah, so I always had a passion for basketball in general, and mm -hmm. then uh, 2K is basketball, so it uh, went hand in hand. And we always come home from school, play NBA 2K, whether I'm or go outside and hoop. It was uh, go outside and hoop, play NBA 2K. We were always playing basketball some type of way. So and sometimes playing both. You would hoop with one hand, and then you have the controller in the other hand, which oh, is yeah. amazing. That's I can't believe doing everything with the left hand. Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> and, and don't try that. You hurt yourself, kids. Don't try uh, that at home. Yeah, don't try that at home. But do, <laughs> do you remember the first time you played NBA 2K? Like the very first time, so you were like, "What are you playing?" And somebody's like, "NBA 2K." Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember. I don't know why you're playing with Mickey Mouse, but it is. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the very first uh -huh. time, but I remember the first, like when I started playing. And, uh, online and competitively, yeah. which was uh, NBA 2K9. Damn, so, uh, it's been a long, it's been a dude. Long. I love it though. <laughs> hard <laughs> work, hard work. If you had to, if you had to explain uh, or give advice to people who want to be where you are now, what would you say? So to anybody out there who you know wants to be a professional gamer, it doesn't have to be 2K. It could be any game or whatever. Uh, Stardew Valley, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps a professional Stardew Valley player. Yeah, just uh, just keep playing. You're going to have to put the work in. The, putting the time in is the most important thing. And just learning the game. Just learning every little thing about it. Uh, for me, the biggest obstacle was my parents. Obviously, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a big obstacle. I uh, love that. I love they're that. old fashioned, they're <laughs> older. And my dad used to always tell me, like, hey, man, you know, like you got to do something. You got to get a job. You got to do something. Like, I'm like, yo, dad, like, you know I mean? I am doing something. Right, yes, like, exactly, yes. I'm playing a game. Like, I'm, I'm I'm working towards something, and, you know, just bear with me for a while. So Exactly. It actually wasn't until last year, to when I won a tournament, to where he finally let up, like, because he saw I bring her in some real money. So, I was like, <laughs> I could support myself. I could do this, and you know, I'd be okay in life. So, dude, I love that. I love just it. Keep fighting. Ugh, get off my back, mom and dad. Uh, that's amazing. All right, well, we're gonna play. Uh, this is the probably the dumbest thing I've ever done, but I'm gonna try to play against you. Okay. So, uh, prepare everyone at home. People are laughing in the back, and that's fine. <laughs> that's the appropriate response. Uh, and I'm hoping you'll kind of teach me as well. I'm hoping to okay. learn uh, from getting my ass severely beat. <laughs> Uh, and I was just saying earlier, I am a Pistons fan, but okay. I like choosing the sweatiest looking guy right there. Hey, can you move us into the middle, O'Malley? Uh, I like choosing the sweatiest dude. Harden <coughs> is pretty sweaty here. He's pretty, he's Part of it is I think he's, he's wearing a sweater on his face. He's got a big beard, <laughs> of which I'm a bit jealous of. Well, Joe, uh, got a medium beard, right? What's that? Medium sweaty beard. No, that's, you know I mean? well, okay, fair enough. I'm just sweaty normally. <laughs> I just have a glandular problem, so beard or not, I'm just always moist. Now, you, you actually play for... The Mavs. You play for the Mavericks. Yes, sir. That's uh, and were you drafted by the Mavs or traded to the Mavs? Drafted. Oh Mavs. man, that's crazy. Because sometimes <laughs> they they'll draft you and then trade for other. I'm going. I'm gonna go. Oh, not West All. Should, maybe you should do the West All Stars. You're, you're, gonna, gonna, do the West. you're gonna kill me anyway. What are we even talking about? You're gonna get the last, uh, oh my I guess that's the sweatiest team on the game. It's so that's sweaty and has Giannis. I can't, I'm not even gonna try that name. Antetokounmpo. It's uh, what's it again? Giannis Antetokounmpo. Those are all the uh, all the letters I can't get rid of in Scrabble. It's amazing. All <laughs> so right, you're really gonna... I'm going West All Stars. <laughs> okay. We're gonna see how good you really are. <laughs> okay. Times. Okay. That's right. Exactly. I'm ready to see Aaron lose terribly. That's correct, Madeline Sims. That is the proper response. 100. Yeah, percent What if I lose, Chad? Then what? <laughs> Y'all gonna go crazy, right? <laughs> oh my this God. Be the end of the world. If you lose a 
comet is going to destroy this uh, thing. There's about as much. Uh, okay, so what do we have to do? We just uh, just hit a yeah, just hit, hit X. X. All right, this is great. Don and Don. Oh, I love this. Don One thing I love too is uh, it's it's crazy that like basketball and like uh, 2K have become closer and closer together in terms of like when you watch on TV, it looks like you're watching the game and vice versa. Yeah, when you're watching and even like yeah, the graphics and all that crazy. It's insane. It's unbelievable. It's gonna it's gonna come to the point to where. TV it's gonna look exactly like we're watching the real life. And then we'll be able to control the people in real life. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's your dream? That's, your That's dream. my dream! <laughs> is to control other people. I want to be the puppet master, pull the strings. Um, so wait, so you had to go, like, just like in, ba in, in, in basketball, you had to go through a combine. Yes. <laughs> and so, combine. so explain to people what a combine is, first of all, if we don't have sports fans, and then kind of how it went for you. Okay, so the combine is basically where you go to showcase your talents, showcase your skills, and show everybody why you should be in the NBA or the NBA 2K League. And so it's a kind of it, it's it's to uh, everybody has to do the same tests. Yes. So it's a, it's a benchmark. It's creating a benchmark for every player mm -hmm. for the teams to kind of uh, grade you on, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, so for the combine that we had to do, it started off with uh, seventy two thousand people. Jesus yeah. God! Yeah, pretty pretty big number. And um, so first we had to win uh, fifty games. So that's pretty simple. It's not. <laughs> so you for just times it's simple. That's, that's very simple. No, for just a casual player, simple. I'm still working simple. on my first, but fine. <laughs> so you just got to get fifty wins, and um, so you qualify for the combine. And yeah. then uh, the seventy two thousand that actually got the fifty wins go into the combine and you play games. And it was like. Uh, Scheduled dates and what times, uh, time frames that you could play. Good lord! And, were and you, you were matched up with random people, or how did yeah, it work? Yeah, so you matched up with random people, like people who That's a little scary. some people who never played the game <laughs> and just heard about the league and wanted to play and like oh my figure God. out to make money and quickly. It's like game. American Idol. You yeah. have the people that are just like, oh yeah, amazing, amazing like grace. It, it yeah, should have exactly. been a TV show. Sure, <laughs> Man, you know what? Next year, by the way, next year probably will be <laughs> it, a show. It needs sure. to be a TV show. Absolutely, it was hectic, like, <laughs> hectic. But um. So yeah, you go into there and you play with random people. Sometimes you get good teammates, and sometimes you just get the worst of the crop. And what if you get somebody terrible? How? Because that, that's obviously <laughs> going to affect you and your stats. Yeah, of course. So I, do you just not pass the ball to that guy? And so just work around for him? me, I got uh, a lot of terrible. Oh, <laughs> a lot no. of terrible. And um, I just try to fight through it. Try to teach them uh, the best I can. You know, try to put, very nice. Basically, just trying to put my team in the best position to win because I hate losing. Right. So. I don't even want to lose a combine. I don't want to lose anything. <laughs> I saw, I read an article about you. Uh, so obviously it's very complimentary, and it had two screenshots. Okay. It said one of the greatest things about Dimes is the fact he'll have a game like this, and it's just like a bajillion points and all that stuff, or a game like this and zero points and like fifty-five assists. Yes, sir. Just like you know, exactly. Yes, sir. You, you're you're right you're a team. You you want to play for the team, exactly. You're 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 a good team player. Well, I'm a point guard, so you know. We, uh, our job is to get our team in and yeah. as much as possible. That's and true. Exactly. For me, I just take whatever the defense gives me, whether they're leaving me one-on-one, -on -one, I'm going to kill my defender, and if they're helping out, I'm going to dime my team ace up. So All right. Well, we'll I see do. how you do with your team right now because you're going to play against me. Let's okay, do it. How do we uh, start? Yeah, just uh, set my lineup up. I'm going to try hard. Do I have to pick guys here? Uh, That's your bench right now. Okay. <laughs> that's your bench. All right, great. That's there we go. Perfect. Now. So I got put, I got my favorite dude right guard? here. It, great. You put him this is point guard. More laughter, but I'm fine with it. Uh, can I just pl uh, can I just play? Yeah, you <laughs> I can just play, you can just right? Press start. I'm yeah. just gonna press start. Yeah, That's you can just press start. I'm a man of action, Dimes. I like action and I like a lot of shooting from half court. So we're gonna see a lot of that. Well, you got kind of the right. Fear Glizzy, my guy, Dimes. That's right. If you guys have questions yeah, for Dimes, uh, uh, hit him up. He's actually a part of Mass Gaming. What's that? He's actually a part of Mass Gaming. Oh, awesome! Yeah, he uh, he's like the graphic designer. He does like some graphic work for us. Whoa! I like it. Another so, skill I don't have. Yeah. There's a lot of skills I don't have. Uh, including um, good smelling breath, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, Rick the Gamer. I think we got some dimes, uh, some dimes people in the chat. Oh, here we go. All right, and let's get it right. Also, I turned off the music for the. It's okay. it's not as exciting. Yeah, now we're gonna get into some sweet excitement. All right, okay, here. are we on the right? Uh, got a person on my camera. Can't, can't play like. Uh, oh, oh, I love this. So I love. Like, yeah, tweak it exactly how you want. So tell us about your. Yeah. Tell us about your character. You're uh, a six-five point guard, right? Uh huh. I'm a six-five uh, shot maker. Shot maker. All right. Uh, so that's like a shot creator and playmaker uh, combined. Awesome. 
And uh, and how would you describe your playing style uh, it, it, as it relates to players who play in the league? So I always say that my player, the way I play, is a combination between Kyrie Irving nice. and uh, fashionist and uh, pat, uh, like dribbling. Yeah, and uh, Chris and Paul and the aspect of just passing and. Pick and roll and, and ha- handsomeness. CP3, very handsome man. I, oh my goodness, <laughs> well, such dreamy like, eyes. Those those Chris Paul's eyes Chris are Paul? so dreamy. I, I like my eyes. Oh, you. I mean, you have dreamy <laughs> eyes too. I'm trying not to look directly into them because I might fall in love. Yes. So look out, love might happen on this uh, this stream, everybody. <laughs> Represent the land, dimes. Woo! Always, always. I love it. <laughs> so you ready? Uh, yeah. By the way, I love this filthy, sp- like with Phil. That's the least. I love like a guy named Filthy. Like, it, hey, my name's What's Phil. Poppin'? Call me What's Filthy. It's great. Uh, we're talking about cool names. How did you? How, how did you originally uh, uh, come up with Dimes? So I came up with Dimes. Uh, it just fit. So I've always played uh, basketball my whole life. Yeah. And uh, I was a little bit more in shape back then. <laughs> we all we all were ba- in shape back then. We're all so, slowly uh, rotting. I was Don't worry. Very good in basketball. And, um, like, my aspect has always been to pass the ball. Like, that's what I love, I love to do. Yeah. And I do the same thing in real life. I always that's awesome. Fl- flashy passes. I love it. I'm just pretty pretty flashy. And um, it just goes hand in hand. And uh, actually, a cool thing is in 2K, when I make a shot or something or, or a three or a big shot or a big dunk, uh-huh. they, they say dimes. Like, Dude! Oh, my God! Yeah, so it's, Dude, it's that fun. is bucket list for me. <laughs> yeah, that is amazing. <laughs> so you ready? Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Um, I was in... I'm in two of the GTA games. Oh, that's the uh, Oh, I just stole it! Oh, there we go! Look at this. All right, now let's, uh, let's get in here. I'm just going to... Oh, no, there we go. Oh, uh, I don't want to do that. Oh, all right, yeah. Bad, bad. <laughs> Um, I thought I was passing. Okay, square is shoot. Yes. All right, here we go. That's all. Um, but yeah, I've I've told this story many times in the chat. But I uh, oh we got oh my boy Harden up here. Okay, what you gonna do? Woo. Oh, there we go. Oh, the little oh, get in there. He's just pressing. Oh. Woo. This is the only time I'm gonna be ahead. By the way, I paid dimes twenty dollars to let me score before we started. Um, you got a bounce right now. Oh Jesus. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there's too many guys in the court. Is this as many as many people as should be on here? I feel like there's. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna let you have that one, Don. Oh, that that <laughs> exactly. Is JLB gonna be on stream too? He also reps Germany. I don't know what that means. Uh, JLB is uh, German. Oh, cool. He's like the uh, Dirk Nowitzki of 2K. Oh my God, that's and he actually, amazing. Yeah, actually play for our team. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. you, so you got drafted by the Mavs. You had to move to Dallas, right? Yes. From Cleveland. Yeah. That's crazy. And how's it been going? How long have you lived in Dallas? So funny story. Oh boy, here we go. It, it wasn't too funny when it was happening. But, right. Um, so after the draft, like the day after. Yeah. And it was actually like a few players. We got the flu. Finish you? Off the yeah, we got the flu. No it way. It bad. So Dude. I actually came later than expected because of that. It, it was just like, it was too bad. I don't want to be here sick. Like, I'm oh, man. So I wanted to be here and be my brother. So. Yeah, of course. So it was actually like, yeah, three players that I know of that got sick. And it was just like, they're, oh they're all on Twitter. Like, uh, so they say that Moody got a sick. That's one of the players. Okay. And he's like, I think he's going to steal. That's hilarious. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, and I found you, but damn. The, the move to Dallas has been, it's been uh, That's awesome. The weather is a lot different for Cleveland. I can, yes, yes, I can imagine, I can imagine. We've done a couple shows in, in Dallas, and it's always so great. The food I love down there, man. Oh, that barbecue is barbecue? out we of had control. Oh, we my gosh. Wait, is Dallas, Ruthie, is Dallas where Fat Matt's Rib Shack is? That's Atlanta. Oh, we also did shows in Atlanta, <laughs> which was also amazing barbecue. <laughs> Oh God, yeah, donuts. Dallas. You yeah. love donuts? Oh, dude, I yeah, love it. I love everything. Honestly, I'm more of a salty guy than a sweet guy. If I'm being honest with you. Really? Donuts are great, but like, crunchy Cheetos are like my crack cocaine. Crunchy like, Cheetos. I can I can smell an that's open not, bag of crunchy salty. Cheetos. Oh no, I'm just, well, it's not sweet. Crunchy Cheetos aren't sweet. Yeah, it's not sweet. Wait, times I have a very important question for you. Okay. Do you prefer puffs or crunchy? When it comes to Cheetos, do you prefer puffs, puffs or crunchy? Okay, so I'm. This not is going to determine huge, our friendship. I'm not a huge Cheeto. Fan. Okay, so fair enough. So fair I enough. Say that, but that, I definitely go crunchy. Over. No, all right, my man. Thank God, because this stream is about to be over. I almost ended the stream right now. I like there. Doritos. Yeah, like Doritos. Oh, Doritos, I'm a fan. Yeah, I like Doritos. I want them to sell the Cool Ranch stuff just as something I can put on everything. 
Okay, the Cool Ranch. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. Oh I my god, nacho cheese. Nacho cheese is great. Well, now, what's your opinion of these? All these new upstart flavors. You know, they got like like the uh, Taco Supreme, or you know, like all that stuff. Well, when I go to the store, I usually get nacho cheese. Yeah, yeah, classic. So, a man yeah, of classic. I agree. Pretty oh, simple. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible pass. You thought it was like, there was, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted, there seemed like a, a sick child in the audience, and so I wanted to give them the give, ball so they, they could remember That's this game for us. Yeah, exactly. Magic right. Up your right. Some yeah, exactly. Right, exactly. Then I, I jump into the crowd. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, if you guys are just joining us, we with Dimes, the uh, number one draft pick of the NBA 2K League. NBA 2K League starts May 1st on Twitch. Tournament, baby. In, it's going to be, be crazy. Amazing. Uh, Dimes plays for the Dallas Mavs, uh, and he is currently um, destroying me. Not really. I'm only up four. Well, the game is all, we've been playing for like a <laughs> minute and a half. Um, Wesley. Oh, there we go. Oh, get in there. Come on. Come on. Dennis Smith. One thing I, I will say I do like uh, about NBA 2K is it's it does even the playing field very well. For somebody who's not a skilled player, you don't have to be. That's one thing I'm not a huge Madden fan, you know, if you play Madden. I play Madden. It's, it's, it's really, it's so complicated, and I, which is great. It's a very deep game, but it doesn't, it doesn't do a great job for me as an unskilled player. Unlike NBA 2K, it does a great job of like, here, you suck. We're going to make, we're going to help you out and have guys block well, you. Well, 2K, so. it's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty simple Yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple game. Well, I'd say, I would say, easy to learn hard to master. Exactly. Very yeah. simple, but deep. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, unreal. <laughs> but yeah, so what's your, what is your, now, you, so when you got drafted, you know, you got put with a team of people you didn't know. Do you guys have a coach? Do you, I mean, do you practice? Like, how does that go? What is, you take us through your day? So, our day is now. Well, we definitely have a coach uh, in uh, Jonah. Okay. Jonah Edwards, that's our coach. Jonah Edwards, great. Shout out, Jonah. Jonah. And um, our days right now is just a lot of practicing. So we're practicing a lot every day, like, um, eight hours a day. That's okay. crazy. So practice is the biggest thing. Just getting uh, to, to know each other uh, as teammates. Uh, sure. Each other's tendencies and just building chemistry. Yeah, that's totally. That's the most important thing. I mean, it's, it's a sport. So exactly yeah, like you would if you got traded to... Or a new team started. <laughs> um, man, come on, I gotta get inside. Oh, damn it! <laughs> come on, Harden, use that beard. I don't know how. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm just hacking you. I'm hacking you crazy. <laughs> Philly says, "Yo, the purple bag Doritos are by far the best." What's purple? What flavor is purple? purple? What is that? Like Glacier Freeze? <laughs> We're not talking Gatorade, man. No, wait. Here, I have a question. Are you? Do you have endorsements? Uh, none at the moment. Would you, what would be your dream endorsement of any product? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad, would it be classic Doritos? Would that be like your... Well, I love Doritos. I mean, obviously, I know shoes are cool and clothes and that stuff. Obviously, you want a Maserati or a Ferrari. Everybody wants to be sponsored by that. But here's, like, this guy, what are we doing on stilts? How hard is this guy trying? Not to rag on your, you know, you're already dressed like a horse. Can't that be enough? You gotta That's my mascot. I know, but, you know, but do you have to be on stilts? That's a tall horse, man. That's a very tall he's horse. About, he's about to go dunk the ball. Oh, he's that's still. true, right. I guess he's a he is a maverick, right? So definitely, um, he's living life on the edge there. But he looks like a horse who had like leg surgery, you know? Like it's like uh, Matt Damon in Elysium. Well, you got the Chuck Taylor one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, what would be your dream endorsement um, for those for all the companies watching now? And I know you guys are all watching. So for me, I just want all the. All the okay, oh, fair enough. Everything. Okay, so I like you can that. bring That's everything to me. Very political. So, very political of you. You're not going to turn down, down any of my Twitter. And yeah. All the endorsements for free to contact. Dat Boy Dimes, Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> Hit him up. Hit me any up. Any endorsements? All exactly. Of them. <laughs> now, what about like, let's say there's something a uh, uh, company wants to endorse you, but they're not super cool. Let's say like they're like shoe inserts, like Dr. Scholl's. Okay. Comes to you and they're like, Dimes, we love what you do. Okay. We want to endorse you. Here's okay. What am I going to do? Dr. Schultz. Is that a yes? I'm going to put the Dr. Schultz in my shoes. Exactly. That's exactly. You're going to be, yeah. That's You're not going to be Jalen like Magellan. You're going to be Dr. Schultz in like, that's a, Dr. Schultz. You're going to be roll. You're going to be rolling like Schultz in, not Jalen like Magellan. 
Right? Tom Schultz. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Schultz. That's what we're going to do with that. I would kind of love to see you like do an endorsement of that and like make it cool. It would be awesome. <laughs> and Sh- Dr. Schultz, if you're watching, this is how you get into the youth demo. There's nothing cooler. You have like a... Uh, you got a man down court. You have your own... Oh, man, what am I doing? There you go. I love that you're even watching my games. It's great. You are teaching me, though. That's good. I'm always super loud. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, purple is spicy sweet chili Doritos. Uh, I guess I'd get down with that. I don't know, man. You know, I like a lot of hot stuff. Oh, you're not a hot guy. I'm not big on hot. Okay, so no, no to that. The sweet, but not the spicy. You know what? In recent years, I have gone very hot. We did a thing. Um, our whole office here at Team Coco is obsessed with hot sauces. Okay. And so every year we do a Christmas gift. And we send to, well, obviously we send you a Christmas gift. But we do. Uh, so you're me a Christmas gift this year. Yeah. Okay. So we do Christmas gifts like for people in the industry. And we made our own hot sauce okay. called Sick Burn. <laughs> so it was really hot. Team Coco Sick Burn, yeah. And it was. Uh, but you know what? I don't like. I like, I like flavor, not just heat. You know, like oh, there we go. So, oh, never leave me open. Never. Oh wait. Okay. So it sounds like you like you like the purple bass. Yeah, I guess. But I, you know, the, the the spicy and sweet, I'm not too into. Pick a side. Be spicy or sweet. You know. Both sides. Yeah. I mean, I guess spicy sweet's my personality. If I'm getting serious. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's right. Hey guys, <laughs> check it. Uh, I don't know. Oh God, how many? Sc- oh no, I was checking out how many Scovels. I don't know what what Scoville level I'm up to. I don't do that. We don't do. Uh, we don't do Scoville levels. I just do. I put a little on my tongue and I taste it. We see what's up. <laughs> we see what's up. Um, no wait, no. So do you guys when you practice? Are you because? The advantage, I would say, or one thing that's very different about 2K versus playing on a court is, oh, come on. You don't need to be in the same location. Do you guys go to, do you have a a warehouse you practice in? Do you have a a practice area, or do you all do it from your house? Yeah, so we have a practice facility that we all go to, and there we all play side by side. I think it creates a you know, better um, communication. Yeah, for it's sure. Better communication. Uh, That's awesome. That's yeah, great. So. I love and it. Um, it creates like sort of the uh, for the people who on my team who haven't played uh, the last mm-hmm. stage. Yeah. Gives them kind of that sort of environment. Yeah, because so when you're playing these games, are you playing in front of an audience? Um, when you we're playing the the tournament game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when, all the tournament games will be, I believe it will be in front of all. Damn! I, don't know, but I know it's gonna be streamed on uh, Twitch for sure. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That would be really nerve wracking. I can barely handle really? the fact there's like six people in this room. <laughs> It doesn't really bother me. I don't like people stuff. watching me do stuff, you know? Like, when I go to the grocery store, I just wear a big black bag. You know, like Yoko, Yoko you know, Ono, like bag is him. What's that? Shopping? You know, no, no, I don't like to... No, because then the paparazzi's on me. It's a whole thing, man. You'll get... It's just... Oh. It's going to get annoying for you, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, look at that save! That was great! Oh, look at that! I, I, I want to give that... There's another sick kid in the audience. I was just trying to throw the ball. They didn't really... Exactly. Um, yes, for those of you just joining us, we're the Dimes. Number one draft pick, NBA 2K League. Uh, and of course, go to NBA2KLeague.com um, to keep up with all the stuff that's going on. May 1st is when the first game tips off. And what's your schedule like? Do they give you your schedule ahead of time? Um, Who you're going to be playing first, do you know? No, I actually do not know. Ooh, I actually do not know nice. yet. Um, nice. But I'm not worried. Do you... Are, are you guys... It's so crazy because... It, 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 the thing that blows me away about the NBA 2K League is the fact that um, it's it's an actual sport you're playing. And so, are you going to watch tape? Like, do you watch other games? Well, definitely, definitely watch tape. Uh, that is so you gotta, cool. You got to know who you're playing. You got to know their tendencies, what they want to do, and yeah. you prevent them from doing it. It's just like, just like that. It's a, it's amazing because it, it's an emerging sport that I love. And so, but it's also based on a sport that already exists. So you guys have a good blueprint, which exactly, is very cool. which I feel like is is the upper hand that we have, right? Uh, from other sports, we have exactly the NBA as to where. Like if I, no offense to League of Legends because I love it, but of course. If, I, if I tune into it, I don't, I don't exactly know what's going on. Actually, well, that's true. That's very eye, true. And I know, or the average eye won't know what's going on. As to where exactly. you tune into NBA 2K, 
majority of the world knows what NBA is Absolutely. and what basketball is, Absolutely. so they understand exactly what's going on. You can on. just jump right in, you and it's exactly right. In. It's exactly like watching. So it's, easy, it's an easy basketball. transition. Yeah, I know, and that's the thing too. Is like again, like like you said, I don't mean to diss League of Legends, but. I do think, and one of the reasons why I think the NBA 2K League is so exciting is for that exact reason. People can just jump aboard and watch and pick up a game versus having to have this whole nomenclature of like, and the rules are all different for all those different matches. Yeah, it's um, definitely different. Yeah, and so in tournaments, there are commentators and all this stuff. Commentators. And what's crazy to me is, and correct me if I'm wrong, but during the draft, Adam Silver, the NBA commissioner, was there. Yeah. That's crazy. It was crazy. Were you nervous for that? Do you get, you don't get nervous for anything. You're like, What's up, Adam? How are we doing? So I wasn't, so I wasn't really nervous. Uh, I, to be honest, I was a little nervous. Oh, we got you! I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was, it was just. Like I knew the there was something. In there. It was like I the anticipation it. of like my name finally being called because I previously got the call from um, Mark Cuban, which is crazy. That's insane. Funny. Wait, story. you mean Shark Tank's Mark Cuban? Shark Tank's I'm Mark just kidding. Cuban. This is the this is the funny story though, right? And then you had an idea for a, a thing you pitched him, and now you have a swivel sweeper side business. No, go on. So this is this is the funny story. So I mute my phone during the draft because I didn't want to get a phone call. Like I'm going up the stage. Yeah, you're trying to concentrate, man. You're getting drafted. So I initially missed his phone call, right? <laughs> the first phone call. Did he leave you a voicemail? Uh, I actually, no, I actually got a text oh, from that's... Um, Roger, who actually works with the uh, Mavericks as well. Oh, okay, cool. And um, he's like, dude, answer your phone. Like, <laughs> Mark Cuban is calling you. I'm like, what you mean Mark Cuban is calling me? He's like, Mark Cuban is calling you to tell you that we're drafting you. So I call Mark Cuban back. <laughs> You're like, like, Mark with a C or with a K. Yeah, so, I'm like, so, I'm, so I'm like, hello. And he's like, hey, what's going on, Don? This is Mark Cuban. I want to welcome you to yeah, the Dallas Mavericks and Mavs gaming, and I'm just letting you know we're taking you with the number one pick. I'm, I'm just on the phone. Like, wow. Like, that is so Cuban. cool. So now it's like, I got his number. We just oh text any time or do whatever. So it was That's like hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> He's texting you for 2K help. He's like, hey, man, I can't get past. It was actually crazy. He was playing Fortnite the other day. Oh, my God, really? Yeah, Mark Cuban actually tweeted out he was playing Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Playing Mark Cuban. Oh, my God. Fortnite. That's another game I'm terrible at. I just can't Fortnite? do the building. The building oh, yeah, I that's suck the, at. That's the skill gap. That's, that's the skill gap in the game. That's, that's the whole thing, yeah. makes you... That's a separate really good. Totally. Just out of story. Totally. Now what about let me just pitch you a quick game. NBA two K but with building. So it's just like Fortnite and like you know, to get across the court I'm gonna build something, you know, and you have to like jump over it. No? Yeah, I don't think I'll yes, play no? That. Guys? I Fortnite? No? I don't think I will play that game. Basketball, I'm, Fortnite? I think I'm gonna speak for them. Okay. Fortball? Anyway? Fortball? Fortball? New thing? That's no? crazy. Uh, so no. About Fortnite uh, with Chad basketball is, courts. Chad is horrified. No, Chad is definitely not into football. Fortnite okay. with basketball courts. Yeah, there we go. I, I think that works better. <laughs> you gotta like shoot the ball into the thing. <laughs> Literally shoot the ball. Hit you with that dirt. <laughs> oh, uh oh. And Glorious Bastard said basketball has been invented by a Canadian, but we rejected it for a real sport called hockey. Oh, somebody's some shit. Oh, please, a real sport like hockey. Although I will say, you do wear knives on your feet in hockey. I don't think that makes it a real sport. I think that makes it a dangerous thing that you shouldn't do. <laughs> Also, what real sport lets you just punch each other in the face? Come on. It's ridiculous. So you've been watching the playoffs? You know um, it's been crazy. No, uh, I haven't, unfortunately. Uh, but I hear it's great. Uh, now, wait, you're from Cleveland. Even though you're playing for the Mavs, who do you root for when you watch? Like, what's it? I mean, obviously, I, I love a LeBron. I love a LeBron situation. How can you root against LeBron? I'm not going to put you on the spot. Okay. But I will say this. Um, I think... Uh, I love LeBron's back in Cleveland. Okay. Uh, I I uh, I'm a Pistons man myself. Okay. And I said I think before we started, I only really did you just totally destroy me in that move, dude. Oh. <laughs> but I'm only really a fair weather fan. I kind of only watch uh, when only watch when they're doing good. When they're doing good, I know. No, I know. I'm a terrible. I look, Dimes. I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible sports fan. Um, I really tried to get into soccer. Okay. Because I was like, oh, this game, like I've the world. Right. It's, I couldn't do it. I just could I was watching like messy highlights on YouTube. I just couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't get into it, man. Um, but what's crazy to me is like, so I, when I lived, I lived in New York for uh, like nine years. Okay. 
and I bought uh, a Bill Lambeer jersey, you know, and for those who don't know, Bill Lambeer uh, used to play on the Pistons back in the 80s when I was growing up. Huge a-hole. The guy's like, would always start fights. He was like part of the Pistons bad boys guys. Yeah, the bad boys. Supremely hated by everyone. <clears throat> So I'd wear these jer- I wear this jersey to every game. Everyone got a picture with me with this Lambeer jersey because no one buys a Lambeer jersey because he's a jerk, uh, but a great player. But you like that? Yeah, I like. You like them because but it was a jerk. What happened was, and what amazed me is, the Knicks fans. So I got all these Knicks games. Would root against their own team. Wow, is the crazy? So I would be like, yeah, go Pistons, and then like guys around would be like, yeah, like screw the Knicks, yeah, go Pistons, man, and everybody would start leaving. And so as the game would progress, like people. Would leave it so we would just move down and get better and better seats okay. and so one time we got so far down so many Knicks fans had left that I just got to sit right behind Fat Joe wow. Isn't that crazy like the third row <laughs> it was amazing because everybody else left yeah everyone else left that's, that's crazy how do you root against your own team Knicks what are you doing <laughs> That's a tough crowd out there. Though. I know it's tough. It's tough crowd. So anyway, I feel you with be, with uh, your love being split between the Cavs and Mavs. Uh, but of course, unless they play each other, you can root for both. I root for both. Exactly. There we go. Just more love, not less love. <laughs> oh man. I love. By the way, I just looked at the score. It's 44-18. That's depressing. Oh, that's green. Oh that's green. man. Oh man. <laughs> All right. So uh, break down my game here. What am I doing wrong? Or okay. should I say, is it easier to say one thing I'm doing okay? Is it easier to say one thing I'm doing right? Than so the biggest thing is um, you play 2K, you got to be locked in. So so not talking like an idiot and blathering away <laughs> like diary so of the mouth. Like okay. But um. You're just th- you're throwing a lot of careless passes. Okay. Really can't do. Now I have thrown two into the, into the crowd. Mm-hmm. Is that too many? But it's okay because you gave okay. it to the sick kids. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, so we're not going to count those. I like you see where you my head's at. Those. Yeah. Okay. Thank so, you. I appreciate so that, like, that. That's that's cool. We're not. That's not counting but against my court. The other forty. The other forty. We gotta fix that. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Here we go. What's your now? What what is your uh? When you first start a game, do you have any um, superstitions? Rituals or anything? Yeah, like before, do you wear a certain, <laughs> wear certain <laughs> socks or Dr. Scholl's foot pads just trying to help you out in the old endorsement? I put the Scholl's on. Okay, for sure. The non Scholl's. Yeah. You put Scholl's, I'm guessing, you put Scholl's in, in the shoes, okay. and then you got a couple in your legs, too, because you you know they give them to you for yeah, free you since you're endorsed yeah. by no, Dr. Scholl's. I mean, so um, I put the Scholl's on, oh, damn it. and I just get straight to the game. Yeah, oh, that's it. <laughs> straight to the game. Um, I love no, it. But I'm, I don't have any big rituals or anything. Any um, superstitions? Any, like, if you a crow flies in front of you before a game, you walk in a different entrance or something? No, no, no. Okay, cool. Same entrance, same game plan, everything. Just, uh, everything. Just going with the one in mind. It's discipline, man. It's the same. It's it, You're locked in. Locked in. Like you say, you're just focused. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you, is there any kind of, um, do, do people try to distract you or, or talk smack or anything to get in your head? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm the most hated. Most hated player. Is that true? Yes, yeah, that's a fact. With these that's beautiful true. eyes, who, who's gonna hate you with know, these man. gorgeous it's eyes? It's crazy. It's crazy. That's crazy. So people actually do talk a lot of smack. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Do you talk smack back? Or you just you're above it. You take the high road. I talk, I talk smack in game. Okay. There talking we go. On this, uh, I'm definitely talking doing this. Really? But it's, uh, <laughs> I love it's it because they talk smack to me. It's like I right. Think, you don't. So. Yeah, exactly. You don't. You're not just gonna lay down. You can't lay down. No. Oh, look at that. No look pass. That's and right into the right into the crowd. Damn it. Oh my God. Uh, JP Gamer says, Dives, how is it playing with their new team? Are you guys confident? How are you feeling right now? Definitely confident. Ahead of May 1st when NBA 2K League starts on twitch.tv slash NBA 2K oh, League. Um, so, yeah, we're uh, we're definitely confident. That's great. Um, got to be. Got to be confident. You got to be confident, man. That's all confident. I can. Fear nobody. We are ready to play whoever and uh, whoever we messed up with, be ready. I love it, dude. This is great. <laughs> this is great. I know, and you feel like you guys are gelling pretty well. Oh yeah, as a team. Yeah, definitely. Um, doing a lot of team bonding. That's awesome. Uh, we actually uh, play a lot of basketball in real life. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so, so we uh, we actually have a court where we live, actually in the building. So, Whoa! Oh my yeah, we God. play basketball there a lot. Actually, that's... me and my me and my shooting guard. <clears throat> excuse me, me and my shooting guard team. Mm-hmm. We actually go play a lot. That's awesome. Every night. 
That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh my god, every yeah. night. You're yeah, playing. Yeah, she could ball. Dude, cool. you guys are like, I love it. Li living and breathing basketball. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, like I said, we have a passion for and a love for it, not not only just 2K, but the sport in general. Right, of course. And I think I think to get to the level where you're at, you have to have that love because it's just you're doing it so much that it. Like I've always said, like you know, for people who are uh, uh, trying to get into television, I've always said like if you can quit doing TV, quit it because it's so hard and so intense. And I'm sure that would be the same thing for you. Like if you if you can go a day without playing. And if you can decide to do something other than play 2K or play basketball, do it because it is it takes so much discipline and motivation to get to the level that you're at. And I, that's I'm not going to get any more five second violations. <laughs> that's the thing. They hate me because they ain't me. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do you have um, uh, esports biz ask any pregame music? Do you have any uh, jams you're into before? That's actually a good question. Yeah. So right now, my favorite rapper would be A Boogie with the hoodie. I don't like know that. A Boogie with the hoodie. It's actually from New York. I feel like that's something I would call myself. Aaron Blair would be A Boogie, and I'm kind of upset that they took my name. I'm gonna be honest, Tom. <laughs> they took your name. Yeah. Son of a A Boogie, I'm coming for you. <coughs> so yeah, that's my favorite rapper right now. But I listen to everything, guys. So I literally like will go from, which is uh, rap music, which is what A Boogie do to. Demi Lovato. Wait, is it A Boogie or A Biggie? A Boogie. A Boogie. With okay, I thought, oh my God. A Boogie, a with, boogie the with the hood. I love it. Oh my God. Wait, is it Demi Lovato? <laughs> yeah, listen to Demi Lovato. I love ashamed. it. Like right before a game, I'm you're just ashamed. weeping. You're just like, oh, yeah. God. So I have listen actually, to the ballads. Like, like, what's wrong with Dimes? He's so crying. No, he's actually, just doing his Demi Lovato thing. Don't worry. Beat people in tournaments, like final games, <laughs> after listening to like Demi Lovato. Oh my God. So, dude. how do y'all feel for listening to a person who listened to Demi Lovato before the game? <laughs> Before you talk about me listening to Demi Lovato, <laughs> she's tough. Oh, I love that. I love it. I love people trying to talk smack uh, about Demi Lovato and you're just murdering them. <laughs> get him inside. Get him inside. Score a point, please. Just do the thing. Oh, so what do you listen to? Oh, man. A lot of John Grisham audiobooks. I'm driving in. The Rainmaker. No, I'm just kidding. Um... What I let's do right now, I don't know, you know, I'm into, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm in a big parliament phase right now, parliament funkadelic, I'm going back. Okay. Um, I do like a good, I, before my time? I do, yes, that's <laughs> way before your time. Uh, I do like a good run, the jewels. Uh, I love, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of what I'm into right now. The roots, I'm really into the roots. Uh, You've heard of the roots, right? Maybe. Oh my god! Oh, I'm so old, Dimes. I'm so old. You look at these these claw, these terrible withered claws trying to play 2K. Um, some new stuff I'm into. I mean, you know, I I like Drake is fine. His new Drake? Okay. his new stuff is not. I'm not super. I'm not, I'm not super into his new stuff. Though. His new stuff is fine. Don't like new stuff. I mean, it's okay. You know, uh, you know like. Um, well, Drake is a good one. That's oh, actually a very good. Yeah, artist. like you know, like what was the, what was before views? If you're if you're reading this, it's too the late. Views? Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so you I, know I was into that. something. Yeah, you know? I, I know. Oh my God, the condescend. Is this talking smack? <laughs> no, this is literally I'm getting smack talked by Dimes. Oh, yeah, it's even worse. It. You're hit, Dimes. It's even worse when you're you pity hit. me. <laughs> it, the pity is worse <laughs> than the. I'm just I'm sitting here in my Doctor Scholl's. You know, I got my own. No, your Dimes show. Can Conan fire Blay for playing this poorly? Yes, exactly. He absolutely could. Um, I know. Uh, my boy, my boy, Ofab and Celtics crossover are gonna make Cuban regret taking you number one. They're talking That's smack tough, to you, Dimes. Woo! Yeah, it was like this is real, right? This is real. <laughs> um, yeah. What else am I? In I mean, honestly, man, like, oh, I'm a big pop fan. Uh, pop. Yeah, you know, I like, I, I'm trying to think of like, I just do, I'll turn on like a Spotify, if there's like Spotify, uh, this will make you feel old, so it's like, it's all music I've never heard of, I listen to a lot of those. So it's like, so it's like Taylor Swift A lot of T-Swift, although her new stuff also is not great. Really? Are you ready for it? Come on, what are you uh, doing, I don't think I heard that one. Oh, not good. The 1975, I like those guys. Oh no, this is so bad. I'm losing time. We were. It wasn't my basketball playing where I lost Dimes' respect. It was my music choices. <laughs> Let the record show. I literally just threw that right to you. By yeah, the way, I almost did. just handed you the ball. You, that's you that's one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen myself in the mirror many times. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Get up there. Get up there. I will say, you know, one thing which is crazy is your reflexes have to be unreal to play these games. Like, do you do you do any? This is kind of a dumb question, but do you do any stretching? Do you do any? Are you doing any? Do you guys do stuff to get your reflexes and to keep them tight? I only speak for me, and with me, I don't, I don't do anything like that. I feel that my fingers and everything are just permanently like this now. <laughs> when you sleep, it's just you're doing this. Yeah, so I think it's just they're just. Nah, I got, I have two chance. You do, you know, you do it, massive. Put your hand up to the camera really quick. Can we get a full shot of this real fast? Look at, look at how big. Look how big Ty's hands are. And I'm a big guy. Those are huge. This finger is crazy long. That finger is insane. I, we figured out why you're so good. It's the hands. But you know what? I will say, you know, like, you know, like a basketball player, genetics do play a part. And, you know, having fast reflexes plays a huge part. Yeah, definitely. You know? Definitely. Got half of it. It's like the game is uh, very mental. Yeah. So it's like that that quick second, that split second, That's the difference. you have to make a decision. That's the difference. And if you yeah. make the wrong one, it's going to come back to haunt you. Yeah, and I have a lot of hauntings happening because I make a lot of terrible decisions. Uh, JP Gamer 201 says, uh, Dimes, you worried you wouldn't go as the number one pick. No, I was always uh, pretty confident. <laughs> It, I was always pretty confident. You are an athlete. You are you are supremely confident. Reason being, just because of uh, I can't buy a basket this game, and I would if I could. <laughs> just because of my resume, um, right? I feel like that game needs to be the number one pick. Yeah, and I feel like my resume was better than any, anybody else's. Yeah, I mean, Mark Cuban's not calling everybody. I still am waiting for your call, Mark, and I don't appreciate that. <laughs> have a lot of calls in your. I have some really good Shark Tank ideas. So appreciate. I appreciate the call, Mark. Yeah, exactly. That's so cool, man. That's amazing. Uh, what would my baller nickname be? Ooh, Dizzy Death says Anderson Hooper's pretty good. Anderson, instead of Anderson Cooper, you know, because I have gray hair like Anderson Cooper on CNN, Anderson Hooper's a pretty good name for me. No, no. I mean, obviously, not at all. Uh, nope. So you just can't Anderson, I don't want to be gross, but, you know, it could be something else that rhymes with Hooper. Um, okay. You know, Anderson uh, Super. I could make good soups. Um, but terrible. Uh, I actually can't even make a good soup. I so you're a good cook? I just, no, I'm a terrible, terrible cook, actually. Okay. I, have a, I have a web series called Dinner in a Video Game where I try to make dinner okay. and play a video game. So I made, like, pizza and played The Last of Us, The Last of Crust. Okay. And I burned myself, like, 50 times. It's a mess. I gave myself food poisoning. No, oh, not good. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ever let me cook for you guys. Was it, was it good pizza? It was not great, but I put okay. bagel bites on it. So I put little pizzas on top. So you just eat the bagel bites. Right, exactly. So it was like pizza. Pizza Inception. It was pizza on pizza. So don't eat the pizza. Just yeah, eat the, big eat the little pizzas <laughs> on the other pizza. Okay. Aaron Blaze. There we go. Like Crooked Johnny, it's going great. Uh, mm. Yes, if you guys are, are just joining us again, we're with Dimes out, getting your questions. Number one draft pick for the NBA 2K League, which starts May 1st. Follow him, Dat Boy so Dimes, so Twitter and Instagram, and go to NBA2KLeague.com. Um, to check out the league and all the teams. And I can't believe... There we go. Um, and yeah, May 1st it starts, man. Um, on twitch.tv slash NBA2K League. Um, how many... Are you just going to play a game a week? What's your schedule at? You know? just, I mean, just like NBA? Are they, are they going to try to get in more games? Because... Um, so for the tournament, I think we just have... Uh, Oh. Just like brackets, I believe. Okay. And we just have to play throughout the whole bracket. So if we keep winning, we keep playing okay. into the finals, and then you know, we just hope we win the finals. There we go. For the regular season, um, so every week, I believe we'll have to travel to New York to the Central Studio. Oh, my God. play games there every week. Every week? Every week. You're going to rack up a lot of frequent flyer miles, my man. <laughs> every week. Damn. And you know what? going to be taking your shoes off a lot of TSA. Dr. Scholes should endorse you because they're going to see a lot of your, you know? I'm I'm telling you, man. Schultz, hey, get on this that's guy. Great. That's great. Before somebody else does. <laughs> exactly. Um, now, I don't even understand this question. EJ Death Sniper is asking, do you think post scorers can make the league? What does that mean? Uh, so, post scorer is an archetype. So, um, essentially, Dirk is a pro scorer because he likes to do most of his work out the, out the post. Got it, okay. His favorite move or uh, is the post fadeaway off the one foot. Uh -huh. So, he's like a post scorer. Got it. So, yes, post scorers can make the league. Um, and that's just, like I said, archetype. I, I like it. Yeah. So they can. Yes. The answer to that is yes. Oh, 
Damn. I, you know, I just want to score 30 points. Okay. That's all I want to do. No, don't let... No! <laughs> I shouldn't have told you my secret. My secret mission. Okay, that's a good shot. There we... Oh, okay. Well, it's nice of you to say. He says okay. he misses twice. Okay, that's fine. You know? Uh, Kyle Clay 2K says, Dimes, what do you think will be the biggest challenge in getting to the championship? Uh, ourselves, for the most part. Just, um, just, just ourselves, just getting to know each other. Ooh, there we go. And building the chemistry. I mean, that's, that's really the biggest thing. Um, just going out there and playing. Yeah. Not cracking under pressure. Just being ready. And, I mean, and this, another dumb question. But, you know, you guys, obviously, are going to be facing some pretty tough competition, you know, right? I mean, I would imagine. <laughs> yes. I mean, because obviously it's not just, right. I mean, hopefully it's all these guys trying to be great. Exactly. Um, and so, you know, you might have to switch up your strategy halfway through, you know. So what's Jonas Pedersen? Where does Jonah come from, your coach? What is his history with uh, 2K? And so the, how did he get to be the coach of the... So the great thing about Jonah is that... And it's funny, we're actually the same age. Oh, that's great! I actually didn't know that, but it, it, Does that funny. freak you out a little bit? No, no? It's, it's dope. It's dope yeah. to me. So the great thing you're, about... You're 50 years younger than me, so I don't feel... <laughs> you know, I'm 108, so... You're 108? Yeah. And I'm, and I'm 50 years there, uh, Yeah. <laughs> no, wait. No, that's not true. Right. I, I would be... I, I don't, well, you're, what, 23? Yeah, I'm 23. You're right. So I would be then 73. <laughs> so, as my hair would suggest. <laughs> the great thing about Jonah is that he actually comes from the community, the NBA 2K community. That's great. And he's been playing a long time. So he knows the game. He, knew, he knows the players. He knows everything there is to know about 2K, just like the players do. And he can recognize how the other team, what the other teams are running and how, exactly. to, how to stop it. Exactly. So it, it's just... It was the perfect job for him. Rebounded by Farrell. Kicks to Noel. Oh, come on. I don't know who they got on the short. Nice oh, there we go. <laughs> you know, I want I want to make sure everybody touches the ball. I like uh, ball movement. I'm about yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm about <laughs> fairness, and also I have a superstition where everyone on the team has to touch the ball before I try to score. Practice makes perfect. Uh, ooh, that's a good question. Uh, Gabe Zilla J says, "A dime such your favorite game to play other than NBA 2K? And do you feel guilty if you're playing a, another game and not putting in the time on NBA 2K?" So. Right now, I would have to say Fortnite, and that's probably the most it. popular game right now. Does Mark so, Cuban make you play Fortnite? Does he say no. play? No. No, but definitely me and Mark got to play Fortnite together. I know. Oh, dude, I would Fortnite. love that. That would be great. <laughs> so, yeah, Fortnite. Six that's kids. like the biggest, the most popular game right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. But I am a super Call of Duty fan. Oh, wow, okay. Call yeah, Call of Duty is awesome. Modern Warfare 2, best Call of Duty ever. Oh, my God. Modern Don't Warfare 2 is insane. Don't at me. <laughs> Don't at me. <laughs> I love it. Uh, who do you find is your toughest opponent? Well, I think you don't really know yet who's going to be your toughest, right? I don't know a lot of players. Do you do you have any rival personal rivalries with people? <laughs> Besides me, in this game right now, we're creating a, a rivalry so, for the ages. Oh, a rivalry game. that the community loves to hype up is was actually the number two pick, which is like sure I can imagine. My, my, was my most competition for the number one pick. Uh, his name is Fab. Okay. And they, which is who the guy just uh, recently mentioned. Uh huh. So I would say that's like the what the, the community likes to say. They love to see me and him go up against each other head to head. Of course, yeah. And just all out for Oh my God! And who? What, what team is he on? He's on the, the Celtics. Oh damn! Yeah. Oh, got it. Celtic crossover. Yeah. That's crazy. So, so that's a matchup to look out for in the coming season. That's what everybody wants to see. That's what they want to and see. And what does he, is he a point guard or who does he play? He's a point guard. Oh, of course. There we go. Side. There we go. <laughs> I love that. You're exactly right. It's been all good. It is so funny. So we've done a couple uh, clueless gamers with some football guys. Okay. And we'll have a person from each team, you know, so we had like, um, you know, we had Gronk and Marshawn, right? And, but those guys, a lot of times, don't face each other on the field because one will play defense, one will play offense, yeah. you know? So it's but it's, yeah, it's totally different where you guys are going to play each other every game, which is amazing. Yeah. Oh! Good D. So what games do you play right now? Oh, man, I'm playing a lot of God of War. 
okay. which is great. I think they actually just came out with a new one. Right? Yeah, they okay. just came out with a new one. It's what great. That? Oh, it's great. I'm a big uh, horror game fan. Is that on like, uh, PS4? It's PS4, yep. And uh, a lot of father-son issues, a lot of very emotional, you know, like, ah, you know, like... Uh, one of my favorite games of all time is The Last of Us. Uh, have you played that at all? So, uh, I, I'm i not ashamed to say it. I cried at the end of The Last of Us. It was very emotional. Okay. Uh, much like I'm going to do at the end of this game. I'm going to weep also because I'm just getting... Uh, 26 to 94 is... I hope my mom is not well, watching because I mean, she would lose all respect for me. Not that she has any, but I don't know if you can go into negative respect, but I would get it. I would definitely get it from my mom. So you're a big, um, you say horror. I love, I love horror. Games. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so, I think... So you, put, you play like Resident Evil and all that? For sure. Oh, but yeah, I played Resident Evil and um, the VR was too scary for me to play and I, I screamed and uh, cried. So you were scared. I was. But you know what then I did? You know, because uh, I'm a comedian and I pay it forward. I set up the virtual reality uh, call, uh, um, Resident Evil in our conference room and had people come in like, hey, you want to play this game? Yeah. And I scared the shit out of them <laughs> and recorded it okay. on my phone. Uh, it was amazing. It actually people, sounds like something uh, I would do. It was great. I'm the worst person. Because we were literally just talking about it. And yeah. I'm not a big horror fan, uh -huh. but I will watch horror with somebody who's a scary person mm. so I can laugh. Exactly. That's, that's, right. That's You're doing it for your own thing. enjoyment. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. When so are, that's my most favorite thing. Years in, are, are there pranksters on your team? Do you guys play pranks at all? I mean, you guys kind of are just getting to know each other. It's actually a good idea. Yeah, it's like the first week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but Nobody wants to play pranks yet because nobody wants to get yelled at. But eventually, there's going to be some pranks <laughs> For sure. being played. I can sure. imagine. You guys are a bunch of jokes. <laughs> exactly. That like and also, I think, I, also I think you know, as a team, you guys are spending so much time together. Yeah. You can't not. Yeah. You know? Especially for the, for the early birds. So go to sleep just super early. Because you know that's where you mess up. Oh, it's always the yeah. first one to go to sleep. Oh, do not the first one to go to sleep. Oh, man. Toothpaste. Oh, you're uh, hand in the water, all that stuff. Yeah, it's just you're asking for it at that point. <laughs> and locks aren't going to keep you, these guys out, you know? They work with their hands. Their job is with their hands. You think they can't pick a lock or two? Get in there! Come on, man! Son of a... Um, yeah, but that was really fun. Also, you know, we've been working together on the show for a long time, and back in New York, we worked in the uh, 30 Rock in you know, the building, and our floor was infested with mice. Just mice. We're filthy human beings. And so I bought a fake mouse. Everybody thought it was coming from uh, the office across from my desk. So I bought a fake mouse, got fishing line, put it, this is a good, by the way, good prank for you. Great prank. And I attach it to the mouse and ran it across the thing under my desk. So as people would walk down the hall, I would jerk it across and people would be like, ah! like, like, like scream. You got this somewhere? Yeah. I, oh my God. Oh no, this is before, I didn't videotape it. <laughs> Thank God, because I would have been fired. But the best thing was, my favorite thing was, our executive producer, Jeff Ross, is the Iceman. He's untouchable. Like, he's just, like, so cool, calm, and collected. Never gets scared with anything. And, you know, Conan's, like, uh, impression of him is like, where's the soup? Like, he only cares about soup. I, he walks down the hall. Keep in mind, I, ju I, this, I just got hired, so this is a stupid <laughs> idea. And I pull the mouse across, and everyone else is screaming. And he just goes, there's a mouse. Just point at the mouse. Like, there's a mouse. Kept so walking. So scared. Unfazed. Unfazed. The guy is an ice man. Ice water in his veins. I feel like you you wouldn't get scared, right? Would you be scared of a mouse? A mouse? I'm asking for your teammates who are gonna try to prank you. Nah, maybe not a mouse. Not they, a mouse. They're so small. I'm a big guy. Yeah, exactly. But that's what scares me. I'm a big guy too. They move so fast, times. Like roaches. Ugh. So fast. Do any of your teammates snore? Uh, I will, I, will, I actually don't know. I think I He's snore. too busy pranking him to see if they snore. I think I snore. But I'm in yeah, oh, no. Oh, there we go. You're fine. Uh, what system is the E-League on? That's a good question. The NBA 2K League? Yeah. It's actually on PC. PC, baby. And, uh, but the cool thing about it is that, so if you want to play PS4 with a PS4 controller, you can oh. play with a PS4 controller. If you play Xbox, that's great. Xbox controller. Oh, that's awesome. So it, just, it works for everybody. Everybody has their own thing. Do you have uh, your own controller? Do you play with a normal controller? Do you have a tricked out controller you like? So I actually have a uh, stealth controller. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's a pretty good controller, a great grip. That's awesome. Are you, I can't wait to, uh, for when you come out with your, uh, the Dimes controller. Oh, yeah, you know oh my god, I can't wait. It's you know gonna be awesome. Good. 
<laughs> you know it's coming. I think eventually he will find I'm gonna be rocking the shows. What's that? I'm gonna be rocking the shows. <laughs> the show. It's got show pads on the side. <laughs> <laughs> perfect grip. It has the perfect grip. The perfect grip. <laughs> Shows all over it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, uh, Jungle Jimenez says dimes is very nice manner. Well, that's because this is an exhibition game. He's not talking smack on me. Oh yeah. You know, like he's he's being nice. He's uh, yeah, exactly. He's taking pity on me. This is this is pitying dimes. You know, this isn't the uh, this isn't warrior dimes you're gonna find if you face him on the court. <laughs> Do you have a? Uh, oh, there we go. Do you have a separate account? You ever play with people secretly online as somebody else, not yourself? So for me, um, nah, I don't. I don't. I would totally I'm, when do. I'm playing, I want everybody to know this. <laughs> I love that. everybody to know this. <laughs> so I always play on my account. I love that. I would totally do that and then be like, "It's not me. It's not done." <laughs> Just like buckets, buckets, buckets. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say true. Def Dimes biggest rivalry, Fab and compete. Yeah, man. I my like biggest, that. You know, those, those are my biggest rivals. Yeah, those are your biggest rivals. You got it. But here's the thing, man. We're at the t you gotta have rivals. That's the whole point. Like that's the entire fans love rivals. They love it. They love it. So you gotta. Yeah, no, 100. percent You gotta feed into that, man. You gotta feed into that. Uh, who are you looking forward to playing the most? I mean, besides Fab, right? I mean, I don't know. Is there any particular team? So do you know the um, the the makeups of all the other teams and all the other players? Yeah, I know all the players. On That's every great. Team. Um, so some teams I want to play. Um, former teammates, uh, my boy Burn, who actually plays for the 76ers. Whoa. I want to play him. Nice. Um, I want to play my boys uh, who play for the Pacers, Swizzerk and Wolf. We actually were all teammates this year. Oh my and god! We got drafted to the same team, which is the Pacers. Whoa! First and second pick. Oh my! So they all got drafted, and you not, and you got drafted to the Mavs. Yeah, that's they got to the Mavs and hilarious. They're the uh, they're on the Pacers. They were Wolf went first round to the Pacers, and then he took Swizzler second round. <laughs> so the Wolf oh is supposed god. to be. He was like my lockdown, so my lockdown defender. So he was like my Kawhi Leonard this year. Oh no! <laughs> so he would actually guard Fat like when we played them. So everybody wants to like always wonder like what happened if Wolf guarded me? Right. So now you get to see. Dude, I love that. In the league, so oh I my god, to that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. I love it. Is there? A, we only have a few more minutes. Is there like a? Uh, can we do like a, a three point shootout or something? Uh, yeah. Or, or like so. a, a quick skill game? Not that I uh, uh, haven't shown my skills already, so everybody. I haven't played that one here. Let me see. Exactly. Um, we only have a few more minutes, guys. So get your question in, in questions in for dimes. The so number we can one. Play back top one v one. Oh, oh man. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do so it. So you want to use? Uh, what's that? Who you want to use? Oh, all you right. Use? All you right. want the glitchiest, sweatiest person like you? Said? I do like a sweaty player because I, I, that shows me that they're trying. You know, like you're not sweaty. What are you doing, man? So you you got it, you know? So you, might want, so you might want to go Kevin Durant. Durant is looking, look, that's a moist face. I like that. That's a very moist face. <laughs> he was sweating when he took the picture? Yeah, but he, he's just like, exactly. Exactly. So, and also you're too busy to tell yourself off because you're playing, you know? You care about you don't care about appearances. You just want to score, right? <laughs> no? Definitely. All right, right, let's do it. Durant, I'm in. All right, so you're going Durant. Uh, Big Poppy Rich, thoughts on Dallas building a new esports facility? That's pretty. Are you playing in that new esports facility? Uh, yes, the practice facility that we are building, uh, we will be playing in. Uh, the Mavs game, we actually released like a preview of how it's going to look. Whoa. So it's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to have like a full stage, everything. Dude. Like, 2K. Everywhere. And that doesn't intimidate you? You're unshakable. <laughs> I would just be like, we're going to oh, play it every oh, day. So what? Oh, well, that's true. I, it's going to be like your home, man. It's going to yeah. be your home. I love uh, that. Who should I get? I don't know. Pick your pick. Uh, pick the guy you uh, play that you want the most, that you love the most. I mean, you know, I don't know, or the guy you hate the most. Maybe you play your worst enemy, <laughs> or just this, the least sweaty guy, the, the driest looking guy. Uh, it's got the least. Uh, are you watching the NBA playoffs? Uh, you are watching the NBA playoffs. Who do you think is going to win? <laughs> Cavs. Uh, yeah, there we go. Cavs. Perfect. Exactly. <laughs> well played. Well played. Well, it's actually crazy that the Cavaliers and the Pacers matchup is actually crazy. Like Lance Stevenson is going crazy on everybody. He's trying to get into everybody's head. Like they're almost fighting on the court. Jeez, so, that's, that's crazy. But that makes it that much more interesting. Like everybody's tuning in. <laughs> I'm actually going to go Anthony Davis just for I don't care. All right, like Anthony Davis. Got okay. Here we go. Um, so oh, so I'm oh ballers, my, you're ringers. Yeah. Okay, ringers. Here we go. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Let's do it. 
<clears throat> That's right. Oh, down the street from here. All right, there you go. Now, I like, so yeah, so again, we are uh, NBA 2K League starts May 1st on twitch.tv slash NBA 2K League. You can follow them. It's a NBA, tournament. NBA 2K League uh, on uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Of course, follow Dat Boy Dimes. That boy. <laughs> Dr. Souls, I'm looking at you at Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and of course, obviously, at MavsGG uh, is, is your team. I just, oh, Follow the squad. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. Well, now you have no dribbles. Oh wait. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm, oh god. Oh, I'm Durant. <laughs> All right. Covered and smothered. Is exactly. Like huge. He. You're a big dude, and I feel like. <laughs> oh, look at this. Finally. Oh. <laughs> Also, I don't appreciate you dressing in all white because I feel it's blinding to me, you know, in the lights. So that was a good strategy. Yeah, exactly. All right, nice. This is just going to be you dunking on me a thousand times. Okay, all right, here we go. No, wait, teach me some moves here. What am I... Okay, so that's a bad shot. Okay. So you see the release? <laughs> so it, it was a good shot. Touche, No, it was a good shot. It's just you released it wrong. Okay, got it. So, like, this little white thing that pops up right here, let me show you, is the shot timing. So you want to release that once it gets to the very end. Okay. When it's at its biggest. Yeah. Okay. Do I have to go get the ball? That feels like a little mean. <laughs> so you're going to get the ball now. So let's see if you can shoot the shot. That's right. Get this man his sole sponsorship. <laughs> exactly. Uh, any uh, yeah, any tips for people who want to join the league next year? Is there going to be a similar... Uh, are you literally just standing on the side? This is... Oh, I was going to let you... Uh, oh, that's so, that's so... I nice. thought you wanted to shoot a shot. Oh, that's so... That's, it's very nice of you, Dimes. It's very nice. So, tips for next year. Um, I don't know if it's going to be the same layout or not. Right. Because uh, they, the they just started league. the league. So exactly. It, it was so a, this was the first time. A different situation. But if it is the same way, just just uh, go out there and showcase your skills the best you can. Just uh, play your game. That's what it ultimately comes down to. Just playing your game. Not getting rattled. You're gonna get bad teammates. Just prepare for the worst, and do the best you can. That's that's the best tips I could give you. Yeah, and also you know, and and be disciplined. I would say you know, like you got to this point because you were you worked really hard, and you know, you put the like you said earlier. God, son of definitely got to put the time. In. Yeah, I put the time in. Uh, you put the work in, man. And, countless and hours. Exactly, and countless I hours. I think people make the mistake of only seeing you getting drafted and being like oh my god you know like instead of what they don't see is the hours and hours and hours of work you're putting in by yourself you know and you know you taking the time to critique yourself get better at things that you're not good at and you know really challenge yourself and oh there we go look at this but yeah no i i think that people always see the bright lights but they never want to see you know that the work that goes into the bright lights which is crazy of course because um, now even now you know like you were talking about you guys are Every day, practicing Every day. like a team and going in, and, you know, and making adjustments, you know, which is what you have to do. Just knowing everything to build chemistry. That's, exactly. That's the biggest thing. Totally. I love, um, you, oh man, I didn't do, I was just like. You did it. You know what it you was? I don't know how you I did had it. A weird, I had a weird, like, hand tremor, <laughs> and then it just did the thing. Um, I love that show. Have you seen Hard Knocks on HBO that follows the preseason of a football team? <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, before the season starts. And I love that show because... It's very much, you know, it's them watching tape, and it's them. Oh, that's a bad shot. Yeah, it says it up there. And I think that, you know, again, like a lot of people don't realize what it takes to get to your level, you know, which is really cool. Um, I mean, you don't just get to be this good at anything without practice. You gotta put the time in. Exactly. Like you said, in anything you want to do in life. You that's just, right. You have to put the time in. Now you can. The the reverse of that is you can be as bad as me by putting in no time. So oh, yeah. if you want to be as bad as I am, <laughs> don't put any time into it, and you will be literally a piece of garbage at this game, which is me. Uh, <laughs> and you'll get lucky because uh, the game will take pity on you, and the algorithm will say, "All right, let's give him one shot so he doesn't oh, yeah, quit yeah. playing." Exactly. There's definitely that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, how do you feel about Dev not making the league? Uh, I feel like Dev should have made it. Um, he's a proven winner. He uh, made it. He actually made it to the finals in the championship that I won last year. Mm -hmm. So I mean, to get that far, you got to be somewhere. Good. Yeah, absolutely. So he's definitely a top player, and uh, he should definitely be here. That's but awesome. He'll be here next year. There we go. So don't there we worry go. About it. I know. That's the thing is that you know they're not just doing this for one year. So yeah, it's... he'll definitely be here next year. Exactly. Uh, Roger Rabbit asks, "Are you guys nervous?" Uh, Dimes doesn't get nervous. I don't want to speak for you. Uh, <laughs> when was the last time you were nervous? So yeah, like I said at the draft, uh, just like just yeah, anticipating. I love like um, at the like Adam Silver's like, there, like like it's the mo the biggest stage. You're like I'm a little nervous. It's just like it was. It's just like sitting there, yeah, knowing your name about to be called, just waiting, 
just waiting. What did you wear? What did you wear? And, so and, I actually wore a suit, um, a blue suit. Nice. A little bit of confidence of going number one. I love it. I love <laughs> so, it. So uh, blue suit, uh, my bow tie was actually fire. Was oh, bow tie. there we go. Bow tie. You went bow tie. <laughs> Respect. Go bow tie. <laughs> Respect. So yeah. I did. Uh, did you have everybody weigh in on your on your? Uh, do you have a stylist? I mean, did you have? Uh, did you? So have, I did it myself. Nice. Uh, well, actually, my brother. Do you have your brother, friends brother weigh in? Yeah, oh, there we go. My brother came with me. I love me. it. I love he, it. He did try to dictate some things. <laughs> He's like the older brother. He's like, no, dude, you don't want to wear that. You want to wear, you want to wear this. So he actually did come with me. My brother and my uncle. But, That's um, awesome. Yeah, for the most part. I love for any important event, I'll bring in like four outfits into work. Okay. We'll do like a fashion show, and Beth uh, always gives uh, me the, the truth, the oh, harsh truth. Wear? Yeah, just what's she's wear. like, no, that that's that's ter- <laughs> don't don't do that. That looks bad. I was like, what about this? She's like, no. Even like down to the watch, yeah. like I'll have like all the people at work because I don't know anything. What, I, what am I doing? I always wear like a dumb T-shirt. Uh, oh, this is a good big popular rich ass. Are you guys gonna get jerseys, and can the fans buy them? Do you know? I don't know. Do you know the merch situation besides um, your Dr. Scholl's endorsement? Um, yeah, we're so we're gonna get jerseys and um, yes, there's definitely gonna be jersey purchases. That's and crazy! Purchases. Have your own jersey? That's nuts, yeah. man! So I love that. This hoodie right here, which is actually very fire. This is great! This Look at that, man! I just got this yesterday and I was so hyped. I was hyped. I, also, I love it. I love I'm, like the. Uh, I'm wearing it everywhere, dude. That's so, fantastic. It's fire. <laughs> yeah, and this is, by the way, a quality. This is like a dry fit. This is a quality. Uh, <laughs> quality jersey though. very that's awesome very comfortable it's awesome and did you have fun in nyc for the draft was that your first time in new york no so i had been there uh previously a few times awesome um let's say around three four times i had been there before damn nice so, yeah. that's but great it was, uh, that, that's and i'm sure that helped with the nervousness too like having been and if that was your first time in new york also it would have been a little like <laughs> what are all these helped. big buildings you it know? probably helped yeah but yeah uh, a lot of fun the after party was dope it was very fun um went to some place some like uh like club, but it was like we rented it out. I guess the NBA rented it out. That's cool. So it was like a private club, so it was like it was very fun. I love also the fact like it's it, the fact that it's a joint venture between the NBA and 2K is it's, it's just crazy. It's crazy. It's legit. NBA back in it. it's, it's like, legit. It's I mean, crazy. that's the real. That's the real thing, man. That's why I say like the sky's the limit. That's right. You know what? Oh, this is interesting. Game Luke says, Dimes, whether you like it or not, you set the bar for this league and the community. Comes the target on your back. Ooh, not not only in the league, but every aspiring player as well. Do you feel the pressure of the entire community chasing after you? So, I've been pretty used to that. Uh, By the way, that's a very, also, very nice compliment. That's extreme. That's a great question, but also, that's a really that's nice true. compliment as well. So, I'm going to start off by saying I appreciate that. Yeah. And, um, I've been, um, I already know I'm like one of the most hated players. <laughs> by well, that, I mean, that's just by the actual. That's just by players. being number one, man. So that yeah, it just comes with the territory. Yeah. So I'm just uh, I'm prepared. I was prepared for it, and I'm ready for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, and I think are you? It must be interesting because, like, giving interviews and like being interviewed, like that's a skill as well, which is kind of like comes with the territory of being number one. It's got to be. Like navigating that whole thing is yeah. a, it's a different world, right? Yeah. Get used to it. yeah, I mean, you seem like incredibly. <laughs> you're way more relaxed than I am, and I like live. I sleep this on this couch. Yeah. yeah, I shower in the props department. I sleep on this couch. Um, it's a great couch. Exactly. Yeah. Very comfortable. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, actually, this is our couch in New York. So who sat here? Bill Clinton sat here oh, on this couch. Yeah, on this couch. Literally, okay. you're sitting. So I'm sitting yeah. On the couch that yep. Bill Clinton. You've shared butt space with Bill Clinton. There you go. No and pressure. Right? Ryan Reynolds, right? I guess was on this good couch. Man. Yeah. Deadpool. I actually like Ryan Reynolds. Oh, he's the man. Yeah. I actually like Ryan Reynolds. Nicest <laughs> dude in the world. He's a great actor. So he's a nice. Great actor. Yeah. Everybody is. Uh, Clinton also very nice. Although I didn't really talk to him. Um, the, uh, but yeah, man, it's I, it's it's interesting. Like now you're on this, you're on a stage, you're on a main stage. I got ten points. How did I, you're just not even let, you're just letting me? Well, it goes back and forth. So uh-huh. <laughs> very nice. Like I said, you're uh, you're navigating the diplomacy of interviews very well. Um, I love it. Oh no, that's very sad. It's great. I love like it, it's gotta be interesting too and very flattering that they're built. They built a whole practice facility and stuff for you guys uh, because it's, it's very dope. Like, oh wow! Each team is doing their own thing, and you know, the Mavs like came up with a great idea with that. You know, to put essentially put us on a live stage. So like, for it, sure, it's preparing us. Yeah, you know? I'm getting. I'm guessing you'll you'll <laughs> probably get to go to Mavs games and stuff. I mean, right? Because it's, it's you are on the Mavs team. Of course, all that is. 
All that is goes without saying that comes with Goes without saying! I love it! Oh, that's so cool. To go, yeah, support the, you gotta support the team. Yeah, for it. sure. I mean, they we they let us into a Conan taping, but we have to pay uh, <laughs> daily. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, the audience is free, but we have to pay. Oh my god. Well, yeah. that was, um, I'm not gonna say it wasn't embarrassing, uh, but uh, <laughs> it was embarrassing. Uh, Dimes, thank you so much. This was fantastic. Yeah, thank you for having me. Once again, follow having. Dimes, Dat Boy Dimes, on Twitter and Instagram. Dat Boy. Dat Boy. <laughs> uh, follow uh, the Mavs at MavsGG, Twitter, Instagram, all those good things, and Facebook, of course, and follow NBA 2K League, uh, Twitter, and Instagram, and of course, watch. The premiere of the NBA 2K League Tip -off uh, tournament. May 1st. May 1st. Twitch.tv slash NBA 2K League. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Dimes. Once again, let's give him a hand. It. Everybody's nice on the phone. Nice <laughs> thank you, guys. Watch this guy. He's. I think he's going places. He's been places and he's going places. Been places and going places. And we will see you guys next week. See you later. Bye.